Hey guys, Gary Dean, Infinity Custom Works, DetailJuice.com, Gary Dean Detailing, all the things. As you can see, I'm still working on putting crap all in my cabinets and all of that in the production area of the shop. It's not done yet. I've got a little bit more work to do, but I want to show you guys some stuff. I'm going to answer some questions in this video about the new... I'm leaning on Versa Coat because it's a very versatile coating and clear coat kind of thing. It is a polymeric resin with ceramic in it. So it's like a clear coat and a ceramic coating all in one. Um, think of it like a higher quality but liquid version of paint protective film that allows you to customize more. So it's not only protective, but you can also beautify with it. Um, and what I mean by that is you can add pearls and other pigments and that kind of thing to change the color of the look of your car, boat, RV, whatever. Um, but it was originally designed for the marine industry and we've adapted it to work universally over pretty much anything you want to put it on. The cool part about it is it doesn't require a key, if you will. You don't have to sand prior to applying it because it bonds um, very well on its own. And the biggest benefit to this stuff is like over vinyl wraps and PPF is that A, there's no razor blades gonna be around your car. Um, I know that they promise the people who in install PPF and vinyl wraps and all of that, they promise that they're not gonna scratch your car, but when you're using a razor blade so close to the paint, it's likely that it's going to happen. And the other thing is you wouldn't know about it until you remove the wrap years later. And um, same with PPF. I'm not a fan of either one of them, but this can be applied just to the front of the car. Uh, you basically, um, when you apply this stuff, you tape up anything you don't want to spray it on, and it is only a spray application right now. Um, we are having a difficult time because it's such a, a thick build, heavy uh, build product. Uh, we wanted material thickness uh, because there's a uh, structural benefit to that, uh, that basically the thicker it is, the better it's going to protect. Uh, you do need two coats of this stuff uh, to, for it to work properly. You can sand it, no problem, polish it out. And I'm going to show you a section that I did. And it's also removable without a ton of effort. So I'm going to show you that today as well. Uh, and then I'll answer any questions that come up in my mind uh, while I'm shooting this video. But I will be shooting several videos this week and potentially spraying this stuff with a color shift chameleon purple and green uh, color shift on my black O2 Chevy S10. So that's going to be, that's the shop truck, if you will. So I'm using the infinity liner for the bed liner, and then we'll be doing uh, the exterior in uh, the Versa coat, if you will. And that's the going name for it. Now, this product will be released March 1st, 2023. So uh, in a couple of weeks from now, you can be able to get your hands on this stuff. And uh, if you want to spray it, I'm gonna explain all of that today. So let me just show you what's going on. So this is the panel that you saw me spray the other day. Well, you, that, that I showed you that I sprayed the other day. And this is the uh, blue-green color shift that I sprayed on it. Now, when you're spraying pearls and flake and that kind of thing mixed into this stuff, um, you want to do 50% overlapping passes for sure, or it ends up blotchy. Uh, and you could see that I really just wanted to lay down some material. Uh, I wasn't necessarily trying to get full coverage, uh, but this stuff covers awesome with this pearl. Anyway, uh, so you can see it's a little bit blotchy. There's a little lightness in this area, no big deal. Um, Again, this is for testing purposes. And you can see that the finish isn't absolutely perfect. I did spray it outside. Um, there's asphalt outside, but it's very dusty. And you can see, I wasn't worried about getting trash in it because I don't care. In fact, it sands out just fine. This section right here, I just sanded with this uh, Merca 2000 grit disc. 
And then I use the DAP Smart Polish, which is uh, also gonna be released on March 1st, 2023. Uh, this is my newest do-it-all polish. It cuts awesome and finishes amazing. So it's, um, you know, one polish you'd use for pretty much anything. But if when you spray it, so here's the deal. Your finish on this stuff is only as good as A, your environment, because this has trash in it, because I did it right outside, no big deal. Um, so your environment and how you lay it down. So the speed in which you are moving the sprayer, the settings on the spray gun, all of that has to do with how flat and nice this stuff will lay down. So with that said, if you have a finish like this when you're done and you don't like it, which this is pretty much how most factory clear is these days, if you don't like it, this is easily sandable with just 2000 grit and straight to polish. However, you could even refine it more than this. All I wanted to do is get rid of some of this orange peel. And you can see that I did that. The light line right there is much clearer over here. It's not perfect still. I don't care. Perfection is not reality. All these detailers and everybody talking about perfection and 9,000 hour details. Yeah, that's not for me. Um, I like to give people what they're looking for and not chase my tail trying to be, you know, working for me because I don't. I work for the customer. And if the customer likes this finish, guess what? That's what they're going to get unless they want me to give them this finish. If they want me to give them even better than that, no problem. I can do that. I will provide. I will oblige. No issue at all. But I have to be compensated to go from this to this. However that works out. If you are looking to apply this stuff and you want to sell this finish, that's fine. Make the pricing where you're compensated to do this extra work unless your customer is okay with this finish. And I can tell you this, on a lighter colored car, you'd be hard pressed to see all this orange peel. It's not even that bad. I've seen factory finishes worse than this. And I'm sure you have too. But my point is, all I did was I put that Merca Abrilon 2000 grit disc on my DeWalt dual action polisher right there and um, I sanded, a I didn't even go crazy. I didn't even go crazy. I sanded this uh, with the 2000 grit, made sure it was very even. And then I went back with the orange pad and my DeWalt 15 millimeter dual action polisher uh, and the Adapt Smart polish. And this is what I ended up with. You can see I didn't clean the gun too well before I sprayed just the clear over everything because there's some flakes in here, but that's fine. I don't care. Again, this is for, this is a demo panel. So with that said, you can sand it, you can polish it just like clear coat. It stays flexible. I don't know if you saw the picture that I uploaded to Instagram and Facebook yesterday. of the actual material. I'll shoot a video of that later. I don't have that piece with me right now, but it stays flexible, which is awesome when it comes to uh, scratches and dings and gouges and that kind of thing, uh, or rock chips and bugs and all that stuff. So basically it will operate like paint protection film, but it's on top of your clear coat and if you don't want it to go away, it will stay. This will last indefinitely, just like clear coat on your car. Um, <clears throat> this is a product that was originally developed for the marine industry. It has been adapted to work on everything, like I mentioned already. And um, with that said, well, um, it resists salt and corrosion and all of that stuff. It makes boats and RVs look amazing. It brings back your color and your shine. So with all of that said, the other cool thing about this that I wanted to say something about today, 
and I'm putting you back on the tripod here um, so that I can give you a little demonstration. But you see, we'll go right here in this area right here. Let's see. All right, so you can see all of the product is still here, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a shop towel, just like so, and nothing fancy. This is acetone. When you spray this stuff, you're going to dilute one to one with acetone. So you're going to put... If you, so for example, if you want to put 16 ounces of product in your gun, you're going to pre-mix this 8 ounces of acetone to 8 ounces of the VersaClear, VersaCoat, whatever, that's still a running name, just so you know. If you got, if you got a suggestion uh, for the name of it, please let me know. So you, you'll dilute 1 to 1 to spray. I recommend a 1.3 millimeter tip to spray this by itself. If you're spraying pearls, that 1.3 millimeter tip will also work. If you're spraying metallics, you need to get a bigger tip. But we'll deal with that later in another video. Um, and I want to also talk a little bit about um, the sprayer that I recommend. I've got two options that I use personally. So basically we're gonna put a little acetone on this towel as you see, you can get acetone at Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever. But for all intents and purposes, we're going to remove this coating today, right this second. Give it a wipe with acetone. And if you remember, if you did see the video, or yeah, the video that I shot on this stuff, uh, you will know that underneath this, was no clear coat at all. It's very, uh, it's just paint, no clear coat. But look, I'm wiping it away and you will obviously be able to tell that it is no longer there. This is the paint underneath the clear. So it is very easily removable. And you can see that I removed it all because there's paint on the towel and for all intents and purposes we're going to give this one more go so that you can see how very easy this is now here's the thing how often does acetone touch your car unless you put it there never so basically if you don't take it off it ain't going nowhere so with that said i mean we could go as far as we want to remove this stuff it works the same on the pearl side you can take it right off no problem all you do is wipe it. Now, yeah, to remove it from a whole vehicle, you're gonna have to get down and dirty with a little bit of elbow grease. But the cool part is, don't spray it on anything you don't want it to hit, like windows. Um, it does work awesome on trim, to be perfectly honest with you. It works great on trim. It is an amazing headlight restoration product. You can see we're getting paint off right now. So, there you go. You remove this stuff with acetone it removes you don't have to worry about it anymore and if you remove it it's likely you're going to have to do a, a, a light polish on the paint because well you're going to have a little bit of residue left over no big deal that comes right off but my point is it's awesome it's removable it is like it is, it is like a clear coat slash paint protective film. It protects well. It looks awesome. You can add pearls and pigments and metallics to it and really get a great look. But if all you wanted to do is offer um, a liquid paint protection film op option, you could tape up the whole front end, spray it on the front end of the car. And like I said, you don't have to cut and buff this stuff. You can dial in your gun and get your technique right where you don't have to do anything. It can look like this nice portion that I cut and buffed with just the spray. It will lay down that flat. Again, I'm gonna do more videos showing you how I spray it and all of that, but this video is just to show you 
um, a few things and answer a few questions. But as far as removal, acetone or xylene. Xylene's a little bit stronger. Um, it is also a little bit more expensive. And I wouldn't trust the xylene around all seals and that kind of thing. Um, I would say tape all of that stuff up. Uh, it does work great if you spray it on seals. Uh, but as far as removing it from seals, I would highly recommend just leave it because uh, the acetone and the xylene, they are removers and uh, they could potentially um, soften up the plastic and that's not what you want. But the harder plastics like trim and that kind of thing are awesome to apply this stuff to. It is literally a permanent trim restorer and you can either wipe it on the trim uh, or you can spray it on the trim, no problem there. Just tape up anything you don't want it to hit. So that's basically it, guys. I know we're almost 16 minutes into this video, but I just wanted to show you guys what was happening. So removal, no big deal. See how this looks still glossy and nice? Not cut and buffed? Cut and buffed. I mean, you can see the difference in looking at that light, how cloudy and hazy. And whilst this still isn't 100% perfect, it's much more clear and not hazy. So there you go, guys. Um, as far as the other side, I mean, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll pour a little acetone on this towel and uh, I'll just show you how well it will take care of. We'll do this back corner right here. Um, just removing pearls, just like so. Got to give the acetone a second to break it up. And then here we go. You can feel it start to break up. See that? See what I'm saying? Look at that. It just removes. It's that amazing, guys. If the customer, it, so for example, if you sprayed pearls on a customer's car and they sell the car or are gonna sell the car or if somebody doesn't like it or whatever, you can just remove it for them. It's that easy. <laughs> so that's where we're at, guys. That's some of the questions answered. Um, I'm going to go ahead and answer one more question. What do I use to spray it? All right. So I've got many guns. This right here is what I am going to carry. Actually, there is a newer version of this gun, and I am... You cannot get them currently, it just came out, so I am ordering them from um, a Chinese distributor. This is the R500. Lots of companies have different versions of this gun. LVLP, not HVLP. Not a high volume, this is a low volume. This uses three to 3.9 CFM. I have been using my North Star this is the model PK5 5020 VPN. This produces 7.6 CFM, 135 PSI, and this is a 20 gallon tank. So 20 gallon compressor, LVLP gun. I am going to sell these guns. I have 30 of them on the way right now. So this gun will not only be um, available for purchase at detailjuice.com, but um, I will also have kits that include everything you need to get up and running, in, including the product and everything. But to use a small compressor like this and be able to do boats, RVs, cars, all of that with a low volume, uh, low pressure gun like this. The cool part is, um, these guns just don't take up all the air and they spray amazing. So this is gonna be your less expensive option to do it. Um, a 20 gallon compressor plus, I mean, Harbor Freight sells them. Um, just make sure it's capable of four CFM and that's it. This will do, this runs at three to 3.9 CFM. Um, I like to spray the product from this gun 
between 26 and 28 PSI, and that's with or without pearls, just so you know. Um, the other option is the Fuji Spray Mini Mite 5, okay? That utilizes this gun right here, which is an HP LV gun, but the benefit is not necessarily the gun. The benefit is there's your compressor right there. That's it, itty bitty little thing. That right there works awesome, but you're looking at 12, 1300 bucks to make that work. That does come with this gun right here, which is actually a really awesome gun. Um, at that price, you also get uh, 31 foot of hose, a 25 foot section and a six foot flex hose section. And that's really all you need. There's other things in here like, um, I have all of the, well, I have the nozzles that I'm, I need for certain things. So I have additional nozzles, which you can buy, um, and that kind of thing. But, and then I also bought a timer with a remote or not a timer, but an on off switch with a remote. So that thing makes a little bit of noise, but whenever I'm done, I just turn it off, um, while I move or whatever, but Fuji spray, mini Mite five platinum or the R500, which I believe that this is what you guys are going to uh, end up using uh, because it's less expensive, uh, still very functional. No real difference other than that's very portable. That compressor is not. That's the only real difference between the two. Um, utilizing a low volume, low pressure gun with a 20 gallon and up compressor is pretty awesome. That's a portable compressor. I could totally put that on a trailer or in the back of my pickup truck and then you've got a mobile situation, no problem at all. I do use a uh, 35 foot of hose, uh, that is 3 8 hose. I do have quarter inch hose, but I prefer the 3 8 You look better um, air regulation, if you will. But that's it guys, we're already 23 minutes into this. Easy removal process with or without pearls, cut and buffed, much more clarity, doesn't look horrible, these pearls and color shift look pretty freaking amazing, but I love this stuff. Anyway, I will, I will absolutely have more questions as time goes on to answer. I will shoot more videos to get you those answers, but I think I've covered a whole lot in this video. Um, I don't have a official pricing. Remember, the pricing for the VersaCoat, VersaClear, whatever it ends up being called, remember that you're getting, and I also don't have all of the figures on how much it takes to do certain projects when I paint my own truck. I mean, I've done smaller pieces. I've done full boats and I know how much it takes to do boats. But as far as cars go, uh, my truck, when I do that probably tomorrow is going to give me a better idea of how much material you need. Um, you will need more material when you're spraying the pearls and the, the metallics because you're basically, um, you're going to lay down a tinted base with this stuff. So we'll tint it like black. Um, darken up the color. You'll put two coats of that on. Then you do two, two to three coats of pearls. Uh, and then you do two to three coats of clear. If you do all of that, you're at six or seven coats and then you'll use more product because you're providing, uh, um, a higher end, uh, more elaborate service. So, uh, you're going to charge for that. Or if you're doing it for yourself, that's awesome. No problem at all. This is a professional spray only product at this time. We're working on smoothing it out, but the problem is when you hand wipe, it leaves indentions that this stuff, because it's such a high build product, struggles to self level. When you spray it, it's much easier to get it flat. Uh, so right now it's spray only, but it, is, it isn't a big deal. Um, you could get into this for far less than a thousand bucks. That's with product, pearls, everything. And uh, that's with a compressor, a gun, everything. Uh, but this is a great service to provide. All these guys out there selling the paint protective films and your Plasti Dips and your all the other random stuff. This stuff is better, lasts longer, doesn't peel, yellow, crack, 
chip, none of that. It's awesome stuff. Um, so anyway, I hope I've answered everything. Um, we are, I have pricing. It is right now looking like it's going to be, what I was getting at was, it's looking like it's going to be $500 a gallon. But that makes two gallons sprayable. It should only take about 16 ounces of combined product, acetone and product, um, to do one coat. Uh, I will give you more specs on that just so that you can put all that in per perspective. Um, the reality is to do a car all in, you're with, with pearls, extra clear coats and, and your tinted base coats and all of that. If I had to guess, you're going to use about maybe 64 ounces of, of the product, which is about a gallon sprayable, if that makes sense, one-to-one -one with acetone. So I'm still going to nail all that down, get you some definitive answers, but we've got about two weeks before this stuff is released, and it is good, guys, super good. All right, we're 27 minutes in now. Thank you guys for watching. Check out DetailJuice.com for all your product needs. Remember, our product launch is March 1st every single year. And we're coming up on that in just a couple of weeks. This VersaCoat, VersaClear situation will have an official name by then. And if you guys have questions, either reach out to me directly. Send me a text message at 813-846-4406 if you're interested in being an installer. Um, I am, th again, this is a, a pro only product. I will sell on the website, but if you need training, I am going to offer training where either I can come to you and train you, or you can come to me. Um, I can train you how to use this stuff in one day. It doesn't take a long time. It's not complicated. I can train you all. If you want in-person training, I can come to you or you can come to me. I don't do it for free, obviously. Traveling costs money. My time is valuable. So I got to work out the training costs and all of that, but it is something I will do. Um, I might even throw in the training if you buy X amount of dollars worth of the product uh, and, and, and all of that. So I've got things that I'm working on, but thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for March 1st, 2023, uh, as I release this product and many, many more uh, for this year. It's going to be an awesome year, guys. And let me know if you got questions. Um, check me out on Instagram. It's gary.dean.35. I'll put that right there. And uh, thanks, guys. I appreciate you watching. And this one's going to be a good one. Have a great day.